Hello there, this is Stephen Kirkbride here from KT Numerology and this reading is for ladies born on the 22nd of March. Now before we go into your planets which rule over your birthday, we are going to uh, discuss uh, something about you. A little a little bit we're going to get into more later but uh, just a little bit now before we start yeah uh, and we're going to mention some playing cards which are very lucky to or a playing card shall i say very lucky to you and some what we call hello there june what we call fatal attraction dates in numerology me being a numerologist of course uh, i've worked out fatal attraction dates for all birthdays now uh, and you're no exception you've got 10 in total but i'm going to give you two today because it's not a full reading uh, this is a short reading of course yeah uh, and gratis from me with love now uh, firstly i like to say that you are very quietly self-assured with no egotistical manner in it you know because you've got the number two it's quiet it's in the background number one is wow i'm here yeah number two in the background yeah quietly confidently yeah doesn't need all the fanfare yeah you're not easily sidetracked neither yeah not easily at all you know you can become very successful all all the 22nd birthdays uh, you include 22nd of march all of yours uh, can become successful it's just the 22 of the master number you see uh and security is very important for you very important in all manners not just your home always yeah uh you don't like abandoning things you're not wasteful in that way you know you just don't walk away you see things through you're thorough that way very good i love it you know and uh, so do a lot of other people they don't tell you though <laughs> but they do love how you are yeah they really do yeah uh now in short while we'll get on to your planets which are who rule over yeah which are the moon mars and uranus they're the three yeah anyway we're going to get on to your playing card because you're a rare one actually i'm one myself actually me born on 30th of december uh, i'm an ace card like you uh, so you're the ace of diamonds i'm the ace of arts mm. yeah there's not many ace cards in uh, the playing pack in the year because i practice playing cards as well you see and you're the ace of diamonds yes you are lady so if you have this card in your bag your purse in a frame anywhere in your back pocket you name it this will bring you luck there you go your playing card to your birthday now the fatal attraction dates we've all got them all got them you know uh, some of them have got more than others uh some have got less you've got 10 in total i'm going to give you two to your fatal attraction dates yeah because i'll tell you what these fatal attraction dates are fireworks and i mean it's explosive yeah i'm not going to go any further in case there's any young people watching yeah i'm not going further than that but explosive yeah now your two i'm giving you today are january the 12th and september the 27th there you go there's two all right now we're going to launch into the planets ruling over your birthday Firstly, we're going to go to Uranus, yeah? So, saying to you, hey, up, Steve. <laughs> Hello, I'm Uranus, and I rule over human potential. Invention, scientist, progress, and freedom fighters. Yeah. Now, you've heard what I rule over. Please help yourself. You ladies born on 22nd of March. Please help yourself to what I have on offer. So you can have progress in a project. Call on me, Uranus. I'm there for you. Uh, become inventive around something. Call on me again, Uranus. Uh, muster up a lot of potential for yourself. I don't think you'll have any problem there being 22nd birthday, but Uranus is there as well. Uh, why not have more? Uh, and stick up for the oppressed if you so choose, you know, because uh, Uranus, is, uh, Uranus, Uranus is ruling over freedom fighters here. So... You know, we're talking about, uh, well, we're going to uh, go forward and uh, look at Mars and we'll talk about what we just said here again, uh, sticking up, because there's all, all ways of sticking up, you know. It's not all fisticuffs and things flying. No, 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 no. 
you can do it in background, you can stick up for people, uh, when, you know, through uh, actions people take, yeah. Now, the moon, you've got the moon ruling over you, it's the number two, you see, uh, number two is the moon, you've got double <laughs> the moon, emotion, water, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so, hello, it's the moon here, and I rule over having things in order, and I'm untidy only once in a blue moon. Yeah, because the moon keeps things in order, only untidy once in a blue moon. You got it? And I rule over water and all things water-like, like rivers, lakes, waterways, canals, water features. And I suggest you treat yourself your double moon to a water feature. Another good luck symbol for you. Yes, it is. Get a little one. Could be an indoor one. Bring you luck. Because you're double water. Yeah. This is in numerology. Double water you are. Mm. So, uh, also I rule over sleep. Oh, I've got to mention this. Uh, just got my spirit guide just come in there. Now, sleep. You only need 17 minutes of sleep. For a full body reboot. Science has proven it recently. Yeah? Yeah, in 2016 actually. Uh, so 17 minutes nap. You've got double moon, you call on that moon. If it's an afternoon nap, late morning nap, whatever it is, nap, you get it. 17 minutes, bang, wallop, reboot, yeah? Yeah, so uh, you're entitled, double moon, yeah? Now, uh, so ruling over sleep, the moon, so... Uh, Get your much needed sleep. I call it vitamin S now. Vitamin S. Because it works like a vitamin. You'll get catch up on your sleep. You'll get plenty of restful deep sleep. And you are supercharged. We all know it. So, you call on it, yeah? And uh, and I just might add, I'm the moon talking. I might add that I'm rather emotional at times. But don't worry about it. You'll need emotion sometime. Yeah, now... I'm going to talk about Mars. Yeah, the god of war, yeah? Now, uh, hello, I'm Mars, and I'm known as the god of war. However, I'm also the protector of those who cannot protect themselves. Yeah, and I also assist when I see bullying. A bit like you, Nasir, yeah? Yeah? Uh, the planet Mars will back you whenever you feel you need to help or assist another person. It doesn't have to be uh, known. We can work in the background helping other people. You know? It's not all shouting and roping. No, 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 no. There's other ways. Yeah? And if you're ever feeling under pressure, call on me. Because I rule over willpower. You call on Mars for willpower. Not that you need much. But you need an extra bit. You call on Mars, yeah? Now, uh, we're going to get here to the tarot now. Uh uh, the Fool card, also known as Nobody's Fool, right? You got it? That's why it's the Fool's card. And it's not including the tarot deck, you know? Uh, it goes up to 21, then carries on 23, that way, yeah? Yeah, 22 is not included, but it comes up with a Fool card. Because it's a full circle, you see. Uh, because, uh, you know, the first 21 cards are representing growth all the way. Then the stop at 22 because it's gone full circle uh, it's deemed a complete circle you know and this circle is that powerful uh, it's nobody's fool it's reversed this it's nobody's fool so you're nobody's fool neither because you've got the full card the fool can fool everybody have you got it you're not the fool you're the fool -er. it's outward yeah, so it can fool everybody. It's that smart, that intelligent. It rules over marriages and relationships, power, wealth, uh, using the subconscious mind to get using yours. Yeah, your subconscious. And uh, divine wisdom. It's a super powered card and you got it. Right, so. Now, there's the tarot on that feng shui. Let's launch in, yeah. Let's talk about your power direction for 2019, shall we? And your direction for 2019 is north, direct north. So get your phone, your app on your phone. Uh, hello there, Christine. Hello there. 
Uh, so your app on your phone, get a compass, find direct north. It's three times more powerful than any other direction in 2019 for you. Now, uh, your prayers, your affirmations, your thoughts, your birthday wishes, anything you choose, get that direction and you watch your look change. Yeah, it's your direction. Even playing lottery, anything. You know, what you want to do, find north. It's your direction. So it's reserved for you. Why not 22nd of March? And you can listen or not listen. Yeah. Right. You're ruling over the chakra system, the fourth chakra in the chakra system. You know, the chakras in the body, they're in alignment. Yeah. From the base uh, down under your bum uh, to the floor. That's the base. From your bottom to the floor, painting, pointing earth down. Uh, your crown chakra is here, pointing up to the heavens. And the, all the other chakras in a line there, yeah? Now you're ruling over the heart chakra. Yeah, so, uh, and this spreads beyond the family circle. Hmm. Goes to your friends, this. Wide, worldwide it does. Uh, and the god of deity, Isa, I-S-A, is the lord of speech. Uh, and he, you know, he uh, helps dispel fear. Uh, spoken from the heart, you see. Not the mouth, not the throat, the heart. Speak from your heart, right? Because your heart, yeah? Hello, Catherine! Hello there. Uh, so, now the goddess, Kakini, K-A-K-I-N-I, -I, the goddess Kakini, is pictured, uh, hey up there, Catherine, is pictured with an empty skull. So you've got the goddess Kakini, the god of the deity Isa, right? Uh, I'm extremely well, Catherine, thank you. Uh, so uh, you've got these two. So this empty skull is for you to empty your mind now and again, uh, asking you to empty your mind. So if you got it, empty your mind and uh, for new projects. Now, uh, so I've got some more. Oh, well, will you? I'll tell you your hippie name if you want. Yeah, yeah. Your hippie name is Daisy Blessing. Uh, the flat little flower Daisy, yeah. Daisy Blessings. Right, there you go, yeah. Right, so, now, a little bit more for you. Uh, the lady born on 22nd of March. This lady is very grounded, uh, and a stable home is very important. Mm. Are you not easily sidetracked? Securities, I know agenda went through that earlier. Uh, now, ladies born on 22nd. I do not, I do not re uh, need to repeat this. You do everything on your own, yeah? Yeah, I'll say that twice. You do everything on your own. Let others help you. Come on. Yeah, we're not, we're all willing to help. I know you like it done right. <laughs> uh, you don't like playing second fiddle. I, the author, understand this completely because of the strength of the number 22. You know, and I totally agree with you. Wow, the lady born at 22nd is so close to Mother Nature as well. Should be, anyway. The lady is sometimes very silent, extremely silent, whilst in deep thought. When you study anything, you're good at getting to the core of subjects or learning, yeah? Your intuition is second to none. It's the sharpest of all knives yeah so uh you're very sensitive and you can read people very well like auras aura reading you can do it yeah uh and you have a natural ability to work for the police and other protection agencies agencies you're natural that way uh, you need time alone to release any pent up energies such as frustration and anger this is a special strength you have you can release it that way on your own uh, you know, I don't know how you do it, but you do it, and uh, it's the 22nd, all the 22nd birthdays can do it, they just get rid of all that uh, anger, frustration, bang wallet, and they come out brand new, uh, you're like teachers all, yeah, anyway, that reading is for a lady's born on the 22nd of March, and uh, I'm going to say uh, thank you Catherine, uh, thank you uh, Christine, thank you Steve, thank you Juno for watching, and uh, I'm going to get on to do another video in a couple of minutes. So, uh, ciao, ciao. Bye.